You might be among those wondering what is happening with all these murders. How could a 17-year-old or a 29-year-old young man become murderers? Apart from the congenital cases, and I strongly suggest you start reading Otto Kernberg, who has done a very deep research, apart from those cases, it is something that is created. Imagine that you are a little soldier, not having opinions, obeying, submitting, never doing anything for yourself, being and existing just in order to satisfy others. This will definitely lead you to become the pot that is not vented, and the result, you will burst either against yourself or against others. These people are secretly full of rage for what was done to them. The person they explode against, the victim, could be their secret self, their mirror, revealing what has happened to them through acting out. But the victim could also be a great abuser an unstoppable one, not self-limited and self-contained, which is also a mirror of another part of them. They couldn't contain and stop themselves before committing the crime. Everything can be explained scientifically through physics and mechanics. <coughs> We communicate in ways deeply engraved that pass through generations. And unless we recognize that it's time to deal with children as people who deserve respect and focus on that, we will pass it on to the next generation as well. Apart from the congenital cases, murderers become through our abuse or our neglect as adults and this is a truth that many people do not like but it is an honest one <laughs>